Caddo Sheriff Steve Prater is joining us uh, this morning. I can't thank you enough, sir, for coming on this early. What are, the oh, area, welcome. what are the areas that you guys are watching today? I know you're concerned about 12 Mile Bayou still. Right. That's the main area, 12 Mile Bayou, and the feeder to it, naturally, which is, uh, you know, Caddo Lake. And that's a pro- that's you know, that's going to be a problem uh, individually. It's just a problem for many people. But for the public, they probably won't experience any more difficulties getting around than they already are. We don't look for anything else to have to be closed. Uh, some of the things in, in, you know, closer in are opening up now and around Cross Lake. Some of the, the areas there you can get around now, um, you know, Yarbor and, and Lakeshore and those, some of the larger intersections are now open. Uh, we don't expect any problems out of the Red River other than it's going to get up to 31.5 and that's, that's, uh, that's going to follow the projection pretty closely there. We'll know more at nine o'clock. Steve, I, um, I was looking at a bunch of video yesterday. Is the water, is the water in the Cross Lake area receding as rapidly as it rose? It seems to be. Uh, I, I know that the areas that I've looked at, it just really just just almost fell off. Uh, and and such, you know, it was such a good thing. It's a shame it went up like it did, and it's leaving quite a mess for a lot of people. We have a listing of probably, well, not probably, I have 250 homes on a list that water's been into in Caddo Parish. And uh, it'll probably go up from, in fact, I'm certain it'll go up from that. Uh, that's the original declaration we're going to send to FEMA. That's interesting uh, you, you mentioned that because the, the president's declared a disaster declaration, but Caddo's not on the list. Do you are pretty optimistic that's going to change? Yes, yes, that's going to change. It was just uh, Caddo wasn't submitted yet. Uh, they took the, the seven, what they thought would be the seven hardest hit areas, most significant, uh, and, and they submitted them. To see, and once the president has start opened up the state, you might say, then the other parishes will just fall in line easily. What's the time frame on that? Any idea? Uh, just quickly, as quickly as we can get some good numbers in. That's why we keep encouraging everybody to uh, report it. You know, to to report it at report damages at kettosheriff dot org. Uh, let us know if you had water in your home. Doesn't have to be any extensive report. Just tell us your address, and we'll send that in too. And and there'll be a lot more information come out uh, as far as what to do and how to start, you know, recovering uh, from this. Uh, we also going to have a we're going to have a drone that is going to fly over. Uh, it's going to map out the area from Texas A and M. They called volunteered to do that. Uh, it's kind of a project, and that's going to be interesting. That'll come in tomorrow. Be some good weather for it. And we've submitted all the information to them, the addresses, and and they're working in conjunction with. Uh, the Red Cross and some other areas, uh, agencies here uh, to, to get that project done. Let's, so, focus so, on, let's focus on Allendale and MLK. I understand y'all have been going door to door, but at this point there's no mandatory evacuation? Well, there's no such thing as a mandatory evacuation. Uh, when you go door to door, you're recommending that they, man, that they evacuate. And that, that term, we don't use that term, um, you know, because it's we're not going to go in and make you leave no matter what. Right. And, uh and so because it's your house. And so there's no such thing as a mandatory evacuation, although that, that term is, is uh, floated about. Would you encourage those folks to leave? Yes, for certain. Okay. For certain. We're talking about all of Allendale, all of MLK? Oh, no, no. Right, no, right. No, if we if we knock on your door and say, hey, you really need to leave, then then you really need to leave. We'll knock on your door and say, you know, watch it. Watch the level really closely because something could happen, like a dam could break or something. You know, as, that's just an example. Last uh, time we spoke, you you said that that expected 12-mile bayou to crest on Tuesday. Has that changed any? Yes, I think it's going to crest before then. Uh, it, that's We'll know more about that on, on uh, at 9 o'clock this morning when we have our briefing with the weather service. Some of the gauges around Caddo Lake, for instance, they're manual gauges. You actually have to go and read them. And so that's uh, that's a different, you know, that's a different animal than being able to sit in the office and have a computerized gauge. Steve, just to run this, uh, to clarify this once again for people this morning that might be hearing us or reading somewhere that Caddo Parish was not on the disaster area list. Let us once again allay their fears. That is just, it's in the pipeline, so to speak, right? Right. I, t- I talked to the governor's office yesterday, and uh, and they were they called me before they submitted the, the list. To assure me that uh, you know, assure me that uh, that we would be submitted, and we probably, uh, almost certainly, would be granted. 
uh, but they were just going to get these in as quickly as possible rather than wait on all the parishes to, to get their information. They just reached out and got got seven parishes, and, and I'm glad, you know, we we the state has been declared a presidential disaster, you know, so our parishes should be sucked in also. Uh, one more question. Out of the woods, 90%? 90%, 90, 94%. Okay. <laughs> Ninety four percent out of the woods. You can quote me on that. Okay, I appreciate that. And and thank all your guys and gals for all the hard work. I know they're worn out and, and we can't thank you enough, Sheriff. Oh, you're quite welcome and we'll know more after nine o'clock this morning for sure, but it looks like things are going good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.